listening to your fake euphemisms. You have enough of that for a full-blown lifetime. Right, this guy is good. His name is Serge Delmar. Right. And I'm going to send this video to him, no matter what it turns out like. Someone might knock the door, don't matter. I'm doing a bit of organized craft. Right now, he's exposing some heavy duty stuff here. Right? Don't have a. Yeah. I've noticed this. So I'm going to send this to Serge, so I'm going to talk to the camera like this. If as if it's Serge. Yeah. And, um, I've noticed this, though. And it doesn't really matter what gets presented to the media. Uh, it's purposefully ignored. It's mad. David Miscavige apparently raped a woman. Uh, multiple times and had and several kids the ones that know. and no one said the anything they were doing that epic. testing the water like, the <laughs> I, know. So, 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 yeah, I, I don't think people that. are uh, so, capable of understanding this search and maybe everyone who can idea. are either like, in the, the cult or free zone, you, you know. With what I know. Smart. So, um, so I, I, I was exposing something a bit. Well, a bit it, it's mind and control, and definitely. That we have nothing like this. Child sex trafficking and, and horrific abuse that has gone on and on for a duration. Of quite a long amount of time of in consideration to what it is. But you know, a few years later, a lot of pain and torture. And this guy's exposing it. You know what I mean? And he's wondering why it's not getting there. And now we're here Wait. To hold them accountable and to start hearing some answers to our questions. Uh, to I've uh, exposed them as well. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. How's it going now? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I've done those videos, right? Because like this. It's not as horrific as it is. But I've, uh, like, I was, uh, I discovered that there was like an online clique group of free zoners. They kind of get together to reintegrate with society again after spending so, like, so much time. I do research this, by the way. So it's not like a Scientologist. <laughs> no way he's going to control it. Right, he can turn this off now. Um, yeah, so that's about it, really. And, um, yeah, but these three zones, I, I found them out there. And I fucking busted them. Big time. You have to look at some of the other videos, I reckon. Uh, I forgot what else I was going to say now. Um, bit of giddy. Because that's heavy duty, that is. Fuck these UFOs being um, spoken about. You know, <laughs> that, that's part of the uh, distraction I reckon. But uh, there's a major cover up going on. And uh, I've been detecting this for a while. I have. I've uh, made videos about this. And uh, that's sending shivers up my spine, to be honest with you. Because they're busted, and the fact that this is so hushed up in the media right, to ludicrous extents what is going on it does beg the question it does now I think what he's on about that surge guy I'm not talking to surge like, like, like my, my camera or my phone yeah so this thing generally uh, is that he's reporting some pretty horrific uh, child sex crimes going on. Uh, and he's uh, interwoven with uh, this. That's pretty, uh, that's, a, that's a bomb. Uh, that blows anything out of the water. It should do, you know. That's a, 
yeah, it's a big one. And let's see what happens with this because, excuse me, I've got a bit of a window, a rough window. Uh, I was gonna say, I was wondering this years ago, why nothing got traction. And it's not that people are too stupid, because you're not. Uh, it's quite easy to explain to people, but you realize um, there's something else going on, definitely. Because no one, no one, uh, no one, um, everyone ignored this. And I think, you know, to, to kind of try and mind control someone, unbeknownst to them that they're being mind controlled by a forum full of these ex signed old, not all it is, uh, high level OTs and stuff. Uh, and they're kind of like in playing with me, and I just find them suspicious to be honest with you. And interrogated them, got more to admit that they were all signed all this, yeah. Or X, X, sorry, X. And, um, you know, so that was a bit weird, I thought. Why? And they did um, some sneaky tricks, and the, this is what kind of really put the cherry on the cake. Uh, that they set up a kind of going on now. Uh, I, I do mention this in another video, but when that person came over, to, they got banned from the group, from the forum, and sent over to check me out when I decided to leave this forum where they were all trying to brainwash me, uh, or try and keep me occupied and feed me full of misinfo, I guess. And, um, or we get like fishing for information too like the dark psychologists that they are yep so that's a big in that Serge right we've got to uh, have a chat I reckon because pretty much what I've done is it's, you know not many people do this like I, I I thought it was important you know because at, at the end of the day why <laughs> and uh another thing of this is like if so, that is very illegal and a crime. And it, it transcends the governmental crime and stuff. It does go deep. And so that's a crime too. Wow. Yes, it's, it's been not been spoken of. Now this is where we're at in it, really. And uh so, anyone out there, I knew this like long ago, funny enough, what Serge is on, on about. And uh, I did mention to people about that fact that, and that, that they were kind of like keeping these people, or these young young people in torture and pain, literally by, because I know that my story, my experience and my information and evidence that's documented in time, hard matter, uh, in various formats, accumulates enough for even a simple person to realize that these people are God, yeah? Now what have they got for? They got, got for apparently dipping back into society, yeah? You know, reintegration reintegr uh, processes where they set up forums and stuff about wacky stuff, you know, aliens and things. And uh, they been been society like that. And uh, that was it. Uh, what if they kind of start to be really sneaky, yeah? And start playing with the person, and the person kind of catches on that they are. That's me, by the way, yeah? And I think, hmm, it is a bit culty, this. And uh, so I played them back a little bit, right? But they were still playing me, and it kind of ended, ended up being, you know, I've taken a lot of my time up, I guess. And uh, until I decided to leave this forum, now someone got banned from the forum about a year and a half before. And I wondered why. They were the only person who got banned, and I was talking to them uh, live, kind of thing. And uh, they just got taken off. And I thought, well, that's weird. I uh, never questioned it really that much. I did say to the person, you know, why is that? 
And he said, oh, it's not happening. I'm speaking bullshit and stuff on the phone. And I thought, okay. Uh, okay, I uh, possibly will say that to um Because he said, something really bad or something like that. And I was like, okay. I never, but, but I th- you know, it's like that seed set in, in your mind, isn't it? <laughs> and then about, I, I thought about a year and a half later, I was just, I, I was just enough of the forum and I was just, I left. Because it was just getting too creepy, you know. It was getting a bit really cozy and they were fishing and shit. And, uh, I'd have uh, mad visit from um, this, oh, that's right, yeah. When I decided to leave this room, I was like, fuck you, I was up to all a bunch of flying toys. Uh, you're fucking weird. I'm off. <laughs> so I left, yeah. And I was living there in this mad um, workshop unit of mine at the time. And this person rung me up, and it was the person who got ban- banned from the forum. Because another person put my address on the forum. And then that all started of this person coming over from. Uh, somewhere and uh, an American passport and then um, even though she said she lived in Bir- Birmingham yeah and uh, that was another thing I got all the videos about it <laughs> anyway I get back to these organite things that, that's what it was about the organite yeah isn't it so it's like full circle now and I'm going to receive a few more uh, master molds tomorrow the new resin craft uh, range that I'm gonna provide on a small scale. Something to keep that keep me busy, you know. Out of anyway, that's Serge guys top. I'm gonna put a link below and also send this to Serge. You can check out my videos. It's just as mad as this, don't worry, I'm not a signed artist, I never have been. So that's the reason why, yeah, this is illegal, yeah. You know that. Um, yeah, knowingly all ganging up on a person who's not or have never been a member of that so called Virgin Church or a high ranking OG. This is very illegal, see. Love you, illegal. Love you, leave you, anyway. I'm gonna get on with this. Oh, I don't wanna go now. Check out my other videos anyway. They're alright, yeah. Some of them are serious, some of them are really, really mad. Quite crazy, I gotta say. But it's all part of this grand exposure. And this, dare I say, exposure that Surge is doing is potentially the reason why I well I'll put it this way. I uh, assumed that what I was revealing to the public was illegal and I bombed lots of forums, right, to tell people about this. The fact that people all part of the same thing were knowingly playing with someone who had no knowledge at that time of being played with and they were remote viewing them as too, too. Just the seed of that in a person's mind is enough to send a, a little bit crazier. Yeah? Now people say, you don't believe in rope movie. Well, I don't, I, I don't know what to believe, you know but it was a bit freaky because they reckoned they were psychics too, yeah? And they would like write freaky stuff, like what I did that day. And then I found out about the remote viewing stuff, right? Uh, in parallel to this, someone I knew quite close to me at the time was doing a course on remote viewing. That's another story. Anyway, uh, you know, I can go off and, it's within the same story, so. It's not so much tangents, but little, little bits within the story, I guess. And, uh, I don't know why I'm showing my tell telly when it's off. Um, no, 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 what I was say now? Yep, yeah, love you and leave you. And hope everything's all right. Let me get back to these. Uh, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, what he's exposing is massive. Now, people don't really understand this. We have, uh, it is proven, because I proved that cognitive dissonance was the absolute fr- final frontier of consciousness. Cognitive dissonance, my friends. This is the, pr- the, the one problem that keeps everything in suspension. 
cognitive dissonance, along with ignorance, and a little sprinkle or a good dollop of arrogance. Cognitive dissonance is the absolute final frontier, because once a person can actually even accept being wrong, they still will not accept what they're wrong for, and still insist upon their delusion. This has happened, <laughs> and it's happened lots, and it's been visible so much, it's creepy. Uh, yeah, well, they, they will just, they, they won't admit they're wrong, really. um, but they can see that they're wrong, because they're, they're bright people, apparently. Now, this has happened on lots of different levels, yeah? And it's happening with the general public now. You know, they're watching there, uh, this, they really think, ah, oh, so what, you know, they're a Scientologist there. But these are children, yeah, you're right there. And uh, I know, I'm, I haven't got kids myself, but I'm more worried about these kids. When I found out about this, which is quite a long time ago, actually, I've been onto these Scientologists for a while, and I did find out a lot of stuff, I've got to say, I had to. Um, yeah, so that's the reason why I know a little bit about it. And, oh yeah, I've got a website as well, you might want to check out, operationhedgehog.wordpress.com, I'll put a link down to that below as well. Kind of need to tidy it up a bit, tidy it up a bit, but it's about the uh, origins of all this, and uh, the reason why it's a pretty much a satanic fucked up piece of work, isn't it? Talking about Scientology. Show you my telly that's off. 16 minutes. Ah, it's not bad. I've done a nice segment there, and I? Back in about two weeks now, I guess. <laughs> now, but I definitely contact that search guy. Send this video to him as well, realistically. And, uh, it's been really rainy today, I've got to say.